Hello peeps. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a haul from the Melton Co. Now the Melton Co. I have uh, previously ordered from and then it seems like she stopped making wax. I believe her last RTS was back in September of 2023. And then I was on my wax fan. And then I noticed she started posting. Her wax always performed well for me in my other house. So I'm like, all right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place an order, see how she works in this house. So that's what we did. She offered quite the scent list. So I was like in all my glory. Uh, this RTS was on April 12th. I received, received my box April 24th. So I already did a live and unboxing over at Instagram. So I've smelled everything already, but we're just going to go over this again with you guys really quickly. So the first thing is this card. Normally, she sent business, like a regular business card. So I don't know if this is what she's transit, you know, transitioning over to now, just sending like a card card. But I appreciate it because it's a handwritten card. Happy Melton. Thank you so much for your order. We hope that you enjoy these blends. Love the Melton Co. Always love me a handwritten thank you card. So we're going to go over the samples. So... <clears throat> This is the bag of samples. Um, what she did was she was going to offer these little cookies. I'll take one out because they're so stinking cute. And if you know me, I'm a sucker for anything cute, anything small. I, I just love, that's how these ended up getting me. But look how cute this is. And it's in my favorite color. So now she was going to offer these. They were like, she called them like cookie bites or something like that. But they, something happened and she said she wasn't going to uh, put them out for this RTS. That they possibly could be available for the next one. But that she was going to send this out as a sample. And she did. And she sent a whole entire bag. That's, that's quite a few melts in there. So it did come with no label, no description. So I ended up hitting her up. And asking her what it was. And she said this is, I wrote it down, strawberry, raspberry jam, cheesecake, and frosted sugar cookies. And that's what I get. I get the frosted sugar cookies from this. And it smells delicious. I hope on warm the raspberry jam comes out. Because, again, if you know me, you know I am a raspberry jam fiend. I'm also a strawberry fiend, so... Oh, excuse me, but this one smells delicious. So thank you so much. I'm not sure if I said the owner's name. Her name is Danielle. She does have an Instagram. That's where I get all the updates. I'm not sure if she has a Facebook group. You can go ahead and check that out, but I follow her and find out all my information from Instagram. So from this for this restock, she offered scoops, ice cream scoops. She offered mini loaves and she offered cake bites, but the cake bites, she only had one cent in, if I'm not mistaken. And then she ordered her snack bars. So I got three bags of the ice cream scoops, two mini loaves, and 10 snack bars. So we'll start off with the ice cream scoops. This first bag is a raspberry orange ice cream. I've also noticed her labels have changed. Before, they used to be round labels, and they used to have, like, the scent notes on it. The ice cream scoops don't have scent notes on it. Everything else does besides this. But the raspberry orange ice cream is fresh raspberries, orange cream school, and vanilla ice cream. Now, I only got one bag of this one because I'm not an orange lover. I've always liked the orange cream sickle though but again still trying to figure out what this nose is like in nowadays so i was like we're just gonna get one bag and we're gonna see what to do these are 
I don't have ounces. She don't put ounces on the labels either. And I did go ahead and check the website for some ounces, but she don't have it listed on the website either. But these are hefty scoops, ice cream scoops. Like you can, again, depend on how you melt, you can either cut it in half, you can cut it in so forth. So if you want to cut it, you know, more, it just, oh, it just all depends on what type of melter you are. But this is really good. I get a creamy orange cream scoop, like just like the ice cream. This smells really good. This is going to be really nice for the summertime. I enjoyed this one. So that was a raspberry orange ice cream. And these next two bags of the ice cream scoops, they're the same. It's strawberry pistachio ice cream. I'm going to put that one over there. And strawberry pistachio ice cream is pistachio pudding cake, sweet strawberries, and vanilla ice cream. And these are so cute. This one's, you know, green with the with pink. That other bag, is it seems like it's mostly green, but this bag has more pinks in it. Now, when I smelled this one, when I did the live this morning, it was coming off to me as orange. And I think it's because... It was together with that other one because she packaged it so well. Everything was like bubble wrapped. She did a great job at packing it. Now, these haven't really sat because I opened up the box on live and then just did the live. But now it still does smell orangey to me, but I'm also getting like a slight nutty pistachio. This, this smells good. I've never had like orange and pistachio together. <laughs> and that's what it smells like right now. Oh, I'm making a mess. But it smells really, really good. And that is strawberry pistachio ice cream. All right. Next, we're going to just go ahead and do the mini loaves. I only got two of those. So the first one is three to crowd, which is birthday cake, lemon pound cake, and white cake. Not only does she put these in poly bags, she, this is so damn cute. She has them in these tins, but the tins also have a topper to it. And then she tapes down the sides so they can stay put, which I've never seen any other vendor do this. And I just thought, wow, that is a really good idea. So that's what that looks like. So cute. And from this one, I get... Mostly lemon pound cake is what I get from it. And when I took took it out, this is what it looks looks like. And then on the bottom, it's still like lemon pound cake and maybe some white cake. It's really delicious. I really like this. And again, this is so stinking cute. So you have the top to it, so it, you know, it stays secured, nice and secured. And then when you're ready to chop it, but I, I don't chop and leave in the container. I chop and I put it in the poly bag or in a poly bag. So that was three to crowd. And the last mini loaf we have is Cassidy, which is pineapple, vanilla, and pink sugar. This one is so cute as well. I'm not going to take this one out of the tin because I do have a broken embed and I just don't want it to get more messed up. Okay. That's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, so cute. Those little embeds, I cannot. I cannot. And this one is so good. I get a creamy, juicy pineapple with some of that pink sugar from this one. She has a really good juicy pineapple and pink sugar. I really like this one a lot. And that's Cassidy. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get into the snack bars. So the first snack bar is Summer Marshmallow, which is Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt, Breeze, and S'mores. And this is your Beach Nuts, is what this is. This smells absolutely amazing. Oh my God, it's so good. I love, love, love me some Beach Nuts. I have for some time now. It's just 
so amazing. This is my happy scent. Whenever I'm like down and out, I know I can always go to Beach Night Blend or just Beach Night by myself, melt it and be happy. God, it's so beautiful. This is so, so good. I love this one so much. And all her wax is just so beautiful. Like she like really, really puts in work because they are so pretty. The next one is, I want to move that a little bit. The next one is Cloud 7, which is pink sugar and cotton candy. Look how gorgeous that is. And this one I get both, pink sugar and cotton candy from this one. And this is so pretty. Like I said, her, I love her pink sugar. This is such a beautiful scent. So pity pity. I like it. And that's Cloud 7. Look at those colors. It's going to look so pretty in the warmer. The next one is Back Into Shakes, which is Strawberry Banana Toasted Marshmallow Vanilla Milkshake. Now, I took a chance on this one because I don't like Every Vendor's Banana. Because I don't like that runts, laffy taffy type of banana. And so far, there's only two vendors banana that I can do. Yes, it comes off as laffy taffy on cold, but once I put, you know, melt it, it just it transforms and it does something different for me on warm as well. So I wanted to see if she's a vendor that I can do banana. And I'm happy to say this one does come off left very much so Laffy Taffy on colds, but I like it. I it, To me, it smells like a strawberry banana milkshake. This is so good. So good. So we're going to see what it do when I put it in the warmer and see how that banana comes out. If it still comes out Laffy Taffy or if it transforms like the, the, from the other two vendors, she may be a third vendor that I could do banana from. But this one's really good because, like I said, it, it, to me, it comes off as a strawberry banana milkshake. So good. The next one is Fair Fair, which is waffle cone, popcorn, caramel, and cotton candy. Now, I can't do caramel anymore. I, all right, I'm going to take that back. I can't do the thick, heavy, ooey, gooey caramel anymore. It has to be caramel that the vendor like really blends the hell out of it and I'm able to enjoy it so that's why I still pick up caramel blends because I, I used to love caramel that was like one of my absolute favorite favorite scents and that was my stash was mostly caramel and zucchini bread uh blends my husband never likes caramel and I never understood like god why don't you like caramel until my nose changed and when my nose changed I was like oh this is why he doesn't like caramel because now caramel to me, if it's not blended perfectly, it just comes off so thick, heavy, stick to everything, your hair, your eyelashes. <laughs> I just feel like, oh my God, like how did I like this scent before? And funny that now every vendor, it's like caramel is coming out the woodwork. All these blends now, are have they have caramel in it and I'm like, goodness. Like, I seen a vendor, a pre-order is going on, it closes tonight, and I was like, oh, let me just check it out really quickly. And of course, there's a three blends especially that I'm like, oh, that sounds good. I like that scent. I like, and then we get caramel, caramel, caramel. And I'm just like, goodness. Like, so if it's blended, all that to say, if it's blended well, then I can do it. And this one, I do not get the caramel right now on cold i get the popcorn and i get some waffle cone and and some of that cotton candy so it, it it's a little lighter but it's all right because i'm gonna let this one sit and cure because i do do monthly theme melting baskets and there is a month that i do like a carnival boardwalk um circus kind of theme so i melt these kinds of scents during that month so it's gonna sit for a little bit until that month comes and i do it the next one is elena can't bake and this is cheesecake key lime pie graham cracker crust this is it's beautiful now i'm i'm gonna start off and say i do not like every vendor's key lime pie because i do not like 
that very tart key lime. I like more of a creamy key lime. So I've never melted key lime from the melting co before. So I was like, all right, let's try it. Because I do that. I'm like, let me see. That's the only way I'm going to know which vendor's uh, key lime that I like. So I was like, all right, let's try this one. Now, when I smelt this on live this morning, I got a tart key lime and an undertone of gasoline. I don't know why. Mind you, I love the smell of gasoline. I just don't want it in my house. I don't want my house to smell like gasoline. But that's what I got from this one, and I don't know why. And I'm hoping, because it's still, yep, it's still coming off to me as tart key lime and gasoline. So I don't know what's going on. I'm hoping that it does, after it sits and cures for a bit, it does change, and especially change when it's in the warmers. So that was Elena, Elena Can't Bake. The next one is Blue Tides, which is Island Game, Blueberry, and Pink Sugar. How, how stinking cute is this? I can't. This is going to make for some beautiful wax pool. Now, this one, I love Island Game, especially with a fruit. It's just so good. And this one, first of all, her Island Game is whoop, super strong. But I get the Island Game, I get blueberry, and I also get the pink sugar from this one. This is so beautiful. And normally, this is a scent that I would normally just do like in my bathroom or my back hallway. But I'm thinking it depends on how much stronger it gets because this would be like in the summertime that I do this. But it depends on how stronger it gets because right now it's strong on that island game. I'm thinking I may not throughout my whole palace, but I may put this in a couple of warmers, most likely in my wax room. And see how it is because scents like this, I love Island Game, but if it's too, too strong and if I put it all over my house, then it triggers a migraine. So we, we're going to try it in a couple of warmers and see how that do. The next one is Dreamer and this is Strawberry Raspberry Guava Pineapple and Orange Creamsicle. Now when I smelled this this morning, like I said, she has a juicy pineapple. I was getting juicy pineapple and orange creamsicle. And then if I sniffed hard enough, I was able to get the strawberry raspberry guava, which I love. Now it, see, it seems like that, that strawberry raspberry guava, I, it's like everything within the little bit of time, it's like everything intertwined so well and I'm getting all of it. I'm getting the strawberry raspberry guava, the pineapple, and the orange creamsicle from this one. This is beautiful. Beautiful. This is going to be a summertime blend for me because those are scents that I really love to do in the summertime. So that was Dreamer. Lemony Snickets, blueberry cobbler, marshmallow, and lemon curd. Now, I've never liked lemon curd. I know you're like, girl, you got a story for everyone. I've never liked lemon curd because I've never really liked lemon before. So since my nose changed and now I want all things lemon, I was like, Let, let's see if you could do lemon curd now that you can do lemon. So I was like, all right, let's try this one. And I'm happy that I did because that lemon curd is super strong. But the way she blended with the, with the blue, get it together, Rebecca. The way it blends with that blueberry cobbler is just so pretty. Again, the lemon curd is top player, but this is so delicious. I cannot wait to melt this because it's going to be so good. This is one that I'm going to have to melt when that man that I married is not here because he don't like blueberry. I don't even know if he likes lemon curd because, again, I never liked lemon curd, so it wasn't a scent that I, I've melted in my, you know, house before. But he definitely don't like blueberry, so whatever. This next one, look how gorgeous this is. It's strawberry crunch cakes. Now, this is a very popular scent. This is, like, one of her top popular scents uh, in her group. This is strawberry pound cake and crunchberry cereal. 
this is so beautiful. And that's exactly what I get. I get cranberry cereal and the SPC from this pretty equally. It's just so, so wishes. Oh, so good. And I'm sorry if you can hear that. They're, they've been paving my streets and they came back to like do the lines or something, but they make a mad noise. I apologize. This one is really, really good. Like I said, that crunch berry cereal, I love it. It's just, it's amazing. And the last one that we have is Beach Treats, and this is Fluffy Towels and Vanilla Ice Cream. I love me some Fluffy Towels, and I was like, oh, I've never had it with, like, Vanilla Ice Cream. I was curious, so I was like, let's try it. Look at how pretty these colors are. I was like, let's try it. Mind you, Fluffy Towels is a scent that I only keep in my bathroom on my back hallway as well. But I was like, okay, depending on what it smells like, because I'm like, all right, it's probably going to, with that vanilla ice cream, it's probably going to be like a creamy, fluffy towels. Like, it's just, and yeah, that's, and her fluffy towels is strong. Like, it's it's potent. It's like, let you know that it's, it's, it's here and it ain't going nowhere. But I love it. And then I get like a creamy, it's, it's a creaminess to this. It's like the creamy, fluffy towels. This is a scent that I don't do the beach because I don't like that sand. I just, me and the beach, no. Mm -mm. No, no ma'am. I am more of a pool girl. So this is going to be a scent in the summertime when I'm out back in the pool. And I'll put, I probably won't put this throughout the whole house because it may trigger a migraine. But I will drop this in a couple of warmers on a pool day when I'm in and out. And I can catch whiffs of this. I think this is going to be perfect. I think I even want another one of this one. So that was Beach Treats. I really like that one. Like really, really. I wasn't sure about it. But when I sniffed it, I was like, yes, yes, yes. So <clears throat> again, this, I'm just going to go on to her page really quickly. She, I believe she still has stuff on her website like any of this stuff on her website her website is very easy to navigate as i go on through instagram because again that's where i get all my you know updates and all that good stuff but you know she has it all laid out of what you know she's offering you can click on it and then it'll pull up and how she has the snap bars listed she has it listed into categories so you know you see the bakery gourmand scents then she has fruity scents and you know clean laundry scents and must scents and floral scents so you know it seems like everything is still available except for the strawberry crunch cakes because again that's like one of the most popular scents um but i it seems like every every except for another one but i think she still has stuff left over if you wanted to give her you know a try so I'll tell you the prices. The um, the mini lows are nine dollars. The snap bars are ten dollars and fifty cents, and then the ice cream scoops is seven dollars and fifty cents. But she seems to still have a lot of things left over. The mini uh, lows she only offered four cents. Yeah, four cents for the mini lows, and they all seem to be in stock still. And the Ice cream scoops, she only offered it in two cents, which are the two cents that I purchased. But she did offer a lot more in the snack bars, more cents that I didn't pick up. So, I mean, if you want to take a look and, you know, try, try her wax out, I would suggest that you do. Again, this is from The Melting Co. So, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the weekend upcoming. And I will talk to you guys later. Ciao.